Hey everyone, these are my nails for the month of April. If you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And secondly, I, aside from like makeup items, I have a nail polish addiction. I do, I switch out my nail polish about every other day, um, just because I have so many and I really enjoy seeing a different color on my nails quite frequently. So uh, yeah, I love these type of videos. So I will talk about the nail polish that I wore. Typically I do film these on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and I will be going back to that because I feel like this video might take a little longer than I prefer. But um, yeah, typically these are a weekly or bi-weekly basis and I'll show you what nail polishes I wore as well as show you pictures of what they look like on my nails. I also do have a nail polish haul at the end of the video that um, I do want to include because I think it's going to be really fun. So stay tuned. Um, let's get started with the first one and that is from Essence and it's the Nude Glam Nail Polish and this one is in Hazelnut Cream Pie. It's a beautiful nude but if you can tell it has like this iridescent slash pearl finish to it that you pick up in certain lighting and it's absolutely beautiful makes it very very different from any other neutral or nude color that I have. The packaging on these nail polishes have changed and the price has gone up from 99 cents to 199, which is unfortunate, but the quality is really great and I just don't hear anybody talk about these nail polishes. So really, really nice, very uh, small and travel friendly, but great nail polish. Okay, the next one that I wore, I was in the mood for brown. So I switched over to Zoya's Dea or Dia. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it is a cream, kind of like a milk chocolate, caramel milk chocolate, um, nail polish color and that is the way that it's spelled DEA so I don't know how you pronounce that but just a very basic boring kind of an ugly brown color but it actually is nice by itself but I wanted something more so I put on the Estee Lauder um, nail polish this is in this is the pure color in 0k Nouveau Riche which is like a bronze gold and it does have like a little bit of iridescent to it but not too too much and honestly, I did not like this combination at all. I should have just stuck with like this one by itself, which would have been fine. I don't know if you can hear that vehicle driving by. Um, yeah, I should have just stuck with this one by itself, but I wanted to glam it up and try something else. So I wore these two together and just not one of my favorites. So this is what that looked like. Another one of my least favorites, unfortunately, is this one from Sally Hansen. This is the Complete Salon Manicure in Plums the Word, and it's just a cream plum color. I'll show you two pictures of these. One is with out flash, which is just what it looks like in natural lighting, and then the other one is with flash, which doesn't look so bad. It looks kind of like it's a mauvey plum, but in reality, if you look at the one in natural lighting, it just looks really dirty, like a dirty, muddy plum, and it's just not very good with my skin tone. So unfortunately, this was not a favorite of mine for the month of April. So here's what that looked like. Okay, let's move on to colors that I did enjoy. These two are from L'Oreal. They're from the new spring collection and I purchased mine at Walgreens, but I have seen them at Target. I'm sure Walmart has them, I'm not too sure, but just if you're interested, look for them because they are beautiful. So they are these two creamy, very fun spring colors. This pink one right here is called the Palace Life and it's just a really nice uh, creamy, pale, very feminine pink. It's beautiful. The next one is 119 Lacy Lilac and it is just a beautiful lilac color. Also a cream finish and just a really, really fun color. These are really nice formulations. I have to say I'm very surprised by these. Um, I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. <laughs> but these were surprisingly very nice formulations and uh, the, the brush is a little bit more on the wider side. Didn't It wasn't too goopy, it wasn't too thin, just a really nice formulation of nail polish. So very, very happy with these two. So next I wanted to try a pink nail polish and I pulled out uh, China Glaze that my friend Stephanie from Flourish XO sent me last year and it's just so beautiful and also very very different So this is the China Glaze in Strawberry Fields and it's coming out very very Neon in reality. It's more of just a mid bright pink, but if you can pick it up, there's like a gold um, Just very light gold shimmer in there very different. I think I said this color, Strawberry Fields. Um, yeah, so I like this color. It is very sheer for one application, but you can build it up to two or three, and it's just a really nice, fun, different pink color. So here's what that one looks like. 
Okay, and then I have two reds. The first one, I love this nail polish. I wore this twice in the month of April, so this just shows you how much I love this one. And I love this whole line of nail polishes, and I don't feel like enough people either give it enough a fair chance or talk about it, but I don't know. I'm personally like a big fan of this line of nail polishes. This is the CoverGirl, what is this called? Outlast Stay Brilliant. And this shade is in Wine 25, which is just a really pretty cream wine color, very nice formulation. I wore this in the beginning of the month and I wore this at the end of the month. So I really, really, really love this color. So the first picture I will show you is this polish just by itself. And then at the end of the month when I wore it again, I just so happened to go to a Jamberry party. And if you're not familiar with Jamberry, I will talk about it more in a separate video when I get my nail stickers in, but they're ba basically just like printed nail art stickers. And so the nail art sticker that I chose was the Summer Chevron and it happened to fit in the middle finger. So you're gonna see a second picture with me using this and one of the Jamberry stickers. So here is that one. Okay, the next red that I wore is from Wet n Wild and it is I Read a Good Book. It's coming out much more neon there than it really is. It is a brighter red, but it doesn't lean like too dark or too bright. It's just a beautiful, beautiful cream red that I think would look good on so, so many skin tones. And the formulation of these Wet n Wild nail polishes are really great. They're only $2.99, I think, and sometimes you can find them on sale. The brush is wide, the formulation is nice. So really, really great nail polish. Then I was in the mood for greens. So I kind of tend to go in phases as well with my nail polish. If you can't already tell a trend, I did like two neutral browns and then I did some pinks and then I did some kind of like lilac plums and then I do reds and now like I'm in a blue phase. I don't know, really weird. So I went through the green phase and I used the Cynthia Rowley nail color. It's coming out really, really vibrant um, on camera. And it is really, uh, it's a very neon green color. And this doesn't have a name, unfortunately. There was a three pack at Marshall's for I think $4.99. So this was one of the colors and um, I really like it. I like the formulation of this, but I love the color. It's so pretty at natural light that I feel like my camera didn't even pick up the quality good enough to show you guys how beautiful it is. So, um, but I will show you anyway what that looked like. The next green that I wore is from Essie and this is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. It is a cream mint green color, but I feel like it has blue tones as well. So it's not a straight up green. It leans a little bit blue as well. I love this color. I just, I think this is so, so beautiful and it's one of my favorites. So I love this and the formulation isn't bad on this one as well. I've talked about Essie nail polishes and how I feel like they're hit and miss. Um, this one, was, this one in particular was not bad. So love this color and it's a staple in my nail polish collection. The last color is one that I'm wearing as my pedicure color. It is from OPI and this is Elephantastic Pink. It's coming out just a little bit more neon on camera than it is in real um, life, I guess. <laughs> um, Elephantastic Pink is a great pink coral and this was given to me from Vanessa from Lipstick Vanessa last year. It's just a really, really great pink coral color. I can't tell you how much I love this color. So this one is on my toes right now. Now onto my nail polish haul. And the color that I'm wearing on my nails right now, I can't tell you how many ladies stop and ask me if this was a gel polish, um, what color this was, how much they liked it. The only other nail polish that I get a lot of feedback with is Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. So many people ask me about that color as well when I wear it. And so I, I just haven't had anybody bombard me so many times throughout one day and ask me, what are you wearing on your nails? Is it a gel nail polish? And nobody believed me when I told them it was $2.99. But this is the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech Nail Polish. These are the new ones from Sinful Colors. These are absolutely amazing. These are amazing. I'm going back today to go pick up some more. Um, beautiful blue, it is a cream blue and it's a little bit darker than Essie's Bikini Sotini. I thought it was a dupe, but when I compared them side by side at Ulta, um, this one definitely has more blue tones, but it's a beautiful color. And I feel like if you just pick a color that you like, you can't go wrong with this formulation because it's just great. I'm gonna film like a whole separate review on this, but it's great. Okay, some other nail polishes that I picked up. I picked up the Piggy Nail Polish. This is my first one. 
Um, this was one of my Ulta rewards. I was only a level two. I went from a level seven to a level two, which is good for me because I saved money. But um, anyway, and it really gave me an opportunity to try this nail polish. So this one is in You Can't Take the World Serious, but it's like Series Us, something like that. So this is the name of it. That's the name of it right there. And this is definitely more of like a blue purple color. I can't wait to wear this one. I'm telling you, I'm in a blue phase. You're going to be able to see that. Okay, next, I picked up some Revlon nail polishes. The first one I picked up is called Enchanting. Yeah, Enchanting. And it is a beautiful, beautiful lilac lavender color with a like duochrome, iridescent duochrome finish. Can't wait to wear this one. And then I picked up these two beauties. This one is called Lagoon Afternoon. It's coming out much, much lighter um, on camera than it is in real life. It's so vibrant. Yeah, it's not, it's not coming up true to color. You have to look up swatches or look this up on the internet because it is so beautiful. Um, Lagoon Afternoon is just that really, really pretty bright, kind of like a teal blue, very nice. And then the other one I picked up is Coast is Clear, which is a um, kind of like a mint green color with like a gold sheen to it. Um, but it does have like a little bit of blue base in it. So there it is right there. And if you're still watching, I actually bought some for you guys. So I didn't, if you're not familiar with my channel, if you're new or if you don't remember, typically whenever I have a giveaway, I do not like to put it in the title. I like to just do it randomly throughout the video just for those who are watching because I feel like so many people subscribe and just watch a video for the sake of a giveaway and I want to give it to those people who truly watch my videos. So I picked up a couple of nail polishes for you guys. Um, I picked up two of the Coast is Clear, so I'll have two winners. So they are these two, and then this one is mine. So let me put mine to the side. But these two beautiful mint green nail polishes, they're so, so pretty. And the other nail polish that I picked up for you guys is Whimsical, which is a, and I only picked up two. I didn't even pick up one for me because they didn't have three. They only had two, and so I picked them up for you guys. But this is a mint green, but it has like all this sparkle to it. It's just like one of those jelly nail polishes. So I feel like this would be great layered on top of this one right here. So they're going to be great together. Just fun. You can use this as an accent nail. You can use it alone on top of any other green nail polish, um, or you can use them together, obviously. So I will have two winners. Two of you, two of you will win, um, one pair of these so so the way that you're going to win that is very very simple one you obviously have to be a subscriber two is you must be 18 years of age or older or get your parents permission if you're under 18 and then um, lastly just tell me which of these nail polishes you liked or which ones that are out in the market that you want to try or just a favorite of yours it doesn't really matter just something nail polish related and uh i will pick the winner this video is going up on sunday so i'm going to pick the winner i'll give it like I don't know, three to four days, and then I will just personal message the winner and uh, have them contact me within 24 hours so that I can get your package out. So this is what two of you are winning. The next nail polish that I picked up is one of the Revlon Nail Art Moon Candies. Um, I've never tried these before, but these have been on my mind and I've been wanting to try them. So finally, I picked one up. This is in the shade 210 Galactic. I did post a video on Keek showing what this looked like really quick. These are fantastic and I definitely want to get more of these, the ones with the glitter on the end, not the other ones that have like two nail polish colors. But this is great. So you have your base color right there. This is like a really dark, like navy purple. It looks black, but it's really like a really, really deep navy purple color. And then you have this fun kind of like a jelly nail polish with these little, I don't know, flecks of shimmer in there that are just beautiful. They're so beautiful. So really happy with this. And the last one that I picked up is one from Spoiled by Wet n Wild. You can find these at CVS. And this is My Button Fell Off, which is just a creamy, very, very pale color. So I thought this would be like a great classic color because I have OPI's, um, what is it called, Bubble Bath? But it's not as opaque as I would like it to be sometimes. So I figured this would be like a great alternative. So that will do it for my nails for the month of April. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you enjoyed the giveaway as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.